Hi friends, it's Becky, and the beads were good again this week, and last week too. <laughs> I did not do um, a video last week. I wasn't feeling great, so I decided I would do my wrap up with all of last week's makes and this week's, so it's a little bit long, and I hope that that's all right. Um, this is my weekly wrap up and chat where I talk about what I made. I uh, will show you the things that I made and then um, we'll talk about, you know, what I have planned coming up and anything else that's on my mind. This is something that I try to do every week, but as we can see, it doesn't always happen every week, but I do try to catch up so that you know where I'm going and, uh, and it helps me remember what I made as well. So why don't we flip down to the bead mat so that you can get a closer look at what I have made. Um, then after I show you on the bead mat, we'll flip it back around and you can see what it looks like on me. All right, so here are the beads that I made over the last, or the jewelry that I made over the last two weeks. Um, so two weeks ago, um, I made this beaded chain necklace using some of the seed beads in the Daniel Wicks Star Seeds bead mix that she had available on our site. I just used some beading thread and did really, really simple bead weaving for each of these little designs and then just used jump rings to put them all together to make a really lightweight, really fun, cute beaded chain. And again, there's going to be videos for all of these things that I've made in the description below. Even if I wasn't, the, well, not all of them, I didn't do a video for this one, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so the video that shows you how to do that, it will be linked in the description below. If you click on more, that's where you can find that. And then I also made, I think this was, this was last week, right? I forget. <laughs> but I decided to make a fall vibes beaded chain necklace using some of these great fall beads that were in the August um, Sam's Bead Box. This was the one that's curated by Deb Floros. Um, so we had a ton of citrusy flavors because it was citrus celebration, but in addition to all of the like lemons and oranges and greens, there were also some nice dark earthy reds as well, or oranges and some carved pumpkin beads and some Czech glass pumpkins. And I thought, aha, let's put all of these together. And so I made a beaded chain necklace and then I strung a bracelet to go with it. And this was in a separate video that I did the bracelet. And I think, did I do the earrings with the bracelet? No, I didn't. I did the earrings with my, my necklace. The earrings were part of it too, but it's just a couple of beads stacked on a head pin. It's very simple earrings to do with that. And then I think it was this week that I did, or maybe it was last week. I think I might have done this one this week. Let's let's find out. I'll have to check. But I'll, I'll regardless, I'll put them all in, in the description below. Um, then I did this beaded chain necklace with the bargain bead box and we got these labradorite pendants and mine has like all of these crisscrossy flash veins in there and I wanted to make sure that whatever wrap I did to make a bail would not hide or obscure any of that so I just did a really simple bail up here with a couple of swirlies up here at the top so that I could then attach some links and these were additionally swirly links. And you know, we've got little scrolls and things in these links that came in the box. And then I just added some of the chain that came with it and the, um, the closure that also came in the box. So that was, that was a really fun thing to make. Um, and then one of the reasons I didn't do my um, thing last week was because I wasn't feeling great. So, like Monday, I was still really, eh, I don't really feel like making anything right now, but the uh, Soft Flex Customer Appreciation Week was going full swing. So I had pulled out some of the kits that I had bought, and one of those was the one from Kay at Bedoria, and this was not her project, but the kits that she sent, I was like, I, I 
was brain foggy and like not really feeling up to making anything compl complicated. But I did feel really good about stringing some beads on some stretch cord. So since the kits came with stretch cord and all of these beads, I just made myself some little bracelets. And so that's something else that I made. And it kind of like kicked me in gear and helped me get ready to actually feel more like myself after, after we did that. And then this necklace is one that I did not do a video for because I followed Cassandra's, uh, Cassandra Spicer's tutorial and even her design here for this bead kit. This was her kit that she did for, um, for the customer appreciation week. And it had like all fun, these fun seed beads and some check glass and some pearls, some chain, a little hammered pendant that you could decorate with some more seed beads. And I'm counting this as a beaded chain necklace for my challenge this month because it is a beaded chain necklace. And just because I didn't design it doesn't mean that it doesn't count as a beaded chain necklace that I made this month. So I'm counting that. <laughs> That's one of the ones that I made. Um, and then I made some earrings because I was just so happy with all of the presentations, the ones that I could get to when I wasn't working um, for the Customer Appreciation Week, and they had a design kit that they had sent out called California Dreaming. So I sat down and made a bunch of earrings. And, you know, I started out with fairly simple, like my Whataburger earrings. <laughs> and then, you know, just added a couple of levels of difficulty to each one. But none of them were overly difficult. None of them were, were anything um, that should be out of the range of, of someone's skill, even if they're just starting out, as long as you go easy, be kind to yourself when you're doing these things. Um, but I really did. I, I like that California Dreaming Kit. There were a lot of really cool beads and really cool designs that you could come up with on that. Um, and I made these orange blossom earrings with some of these little flowers and these charms and I thought that was that was a lot of fun to make and then the last thing that I made this week was this necklace I actually made it yesterday but the video didn't get uploaded until today and it is a tree of life pendant that I made beaded chain using the beads that came in the gemstone orphanage September box and then I added some extra pink beads from my stash and they had actually come from gemstone orphanage these pink beads so it wasn't out of the way for me to add them but I didn't do a video making this tree of life pendant because I followed a tutorial that Steve Caldwell did on the Homestrong Jewelry channel so I will put a link to his tutorial as well and I'll put a link to Cassandra's um, presentation from the, uh, it's on the Softflex channel for that so that you can see how she made this necklace if you'd like. And then, um, while Kay didn't do this as her project, her project is still really cool. So I'll put a link to that as well. And when I made this, I also made these dangly elephant earrings and they are sparkly and pink and perfect. And I love that. And this is actually... In addition to making this jewelry here, I also I also painted this painting, so <laughs> I was really really happy to be able to make it because it was uh, it was uh, jewelry and painting that I did with that. So let me go ahead and flip back up to my face to face, and I'll try all of these on for you so you can see what they look like on me and not on my back. All right, let's take a look at these. I think this is still absolutely one of my favorite things that I've ever made. It was so much fun and it was so easy to make these. And this was my little string of satellites that I made with the star seeds. See, look, this is a definitely a 90s <laughs> necklace, right? Like all I need are like some little mini like clips in my hair. <laughs> Super cute, I love it. Uh, and it's, it's easy to make. It is very easy. If you have never done any bead weaving, you can do this. You can. 
All right, and then we've got our stuff from Sam's bead box. Let me get my necklace on here. All right. And the nice thing about beaded chain necklaces is usually you can adjust the length. So if I decide mm, that's too long for me, I can take like a link or two out near the back and shorten it up a little bit if I need to. But I like this length. I think it's fine. Let's get my bracelet on. It's got my orange flowers. And then our pumpkin earrings. I am going to be trying on a lot of earrings in a minute. So... <laughs> Get ready for those. Ah, this was so much fun. And then we just got a new Sam Speed box this week. Daniel Wicks. She did that one too. Um, speaking of Daniel Wicks, I am going to be joining her for Seed Beat Saturday this week. This, this coming Saturday. Um, so I will put a link again in the description to that event so you can click remind me so you don't miss it it's going to be in the afternoon on saturday um early afternoon if you are on the west coast late afternoon if you are on the east coast of the u.s because it's at 1 p.m pacific time which ends up being was is it 1 p.m or is it 2 I'll look, I'll look at the time. I'll have the time below. Um, but yeah, it's, it ends up being about, no, it's 2 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Central Time, which is my time zone. And then Eastern, it's, it's 5 p.m. So we'll be hanging out and we'll be playing around with some of the seed beads and some of the Miyuki Tila's that she's got in her shop. So I'm excited about that. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I can't wait to hang out with her. <laughs> Um, okay, yes. Let's try on another necklace. Uh, this is the Labradorite one. Like, one of these days I'm probably going to start getting into, like, the really fancy wire wrapping. But until then, I think I'm going to be happy with, like, some of these simple guides, you know? And there we go. I could shorten this chain if I wanted to, maybe there. No, I think I like this length right there. Yeah. That, that looks fine. That'll work. That'll do. All right. Now I've got my sparkle and be kind from, this was actually two different bead kits from Bedoria. I got the pink bead kit and the black bead kit because I couldn't decide on a color. There were so many stinky colors. It's crazy. So I got two. <laughs> I'll put links to Kay's shop in the description as well if you want to check out her kits. Um, and then we've got this one. And this was, again, Cassandra Spicer, Beads to Live By. This is her presentation that I made. Look how that layers. It's just so, it's so nice. I like that. But yeah, so that that's something else that I made and it was a lot of fun. This came in three different colorways. I don't know if all colorways are still in stock or if they sold out. Um, they probably sold out because it was a fantastic, um, fantastic project and it looks great. And it's really, really hard to mess it up. <laughs> Just say it. It's hard to mess that up. But uh, but yeah, if she still has some, I'll put a link to that in the description as well if you want to check out her kit. Um, and also, like I said, links to the presentations on the Softflex channel that they did for Customer Appreciation Week for each of those projects. And then here are the earrings that I made. Let's go with our... I'm only going to do one earring. I'm not going to do both. So that we can go through a little bit faster. Here's my Whataburger earring with my white and orange stripes. Here's my 
orange blossom earring. I love these. They they kind of do do a little wiggle. I like jangly earrings when they do those wiggles. <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite things. Here is a California State earring. We had these. Oh, there we go. These State of California charms that have this hammer tone to them. Yeah, this is another. I have to do this. I have to wiggle my head when I've got dangly earrings. It's an important part of the process of wearing dangly earrings to do this. Um, I hope if you have never done that, that you give it a try and let me know if you enjoy doing that as well. You gotta do the head wobble. Okay, this these I gotta do both ears because <laughs> this is just it's the funnest. I like to have fun with my jewelry. Ah, okay. All right. That's enough being silly, Becky. Time to be serious. And then this was the last one that I made. I'm inordinately proud of my Tree of Life pendant, by the way. Like, I had never made one before. So when Steve posted that tutorial on the Homestrong Jewelry channel, I was like, I'm doing it. I'm going to make that. And I had already been planning on doing pink and green for my... Um, my painting and jewelry. I had already been planning on that. So I was absolutely tickled that I was able to make that all come together when I did that. I am super proud of that though. It's like, it's my first one and it worked. It worked. Like it was, it was easy to follow along. I'll put a link to his, um, his tutorial as well as the video to my making the necklace so that you can see how he did it. And I just did it the same way he showed it. So that's why I didn't film myself doing it because I was following a tutorial to get it done. Isn't that fantastic? And then these, oh, these I also need to put both in my ears for. It's the elephant earrings. They are all dingly, chandelier-y multiple, multiple connections. And this one was also uh, like all of the findings, all of the beads, except for those extra pink beads came in the gemstone orphanage box. The elephants came in there too. Oh, this is super fun. I'm just going to do this for a while. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> all right. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling much better. I have, um, I feel like I've been doing great for my challenge. I have, I think, one more week after this left in the month, don't we? And, uh, you know what? I'll, I'll keep going until the actual end of the month and then, and then we'll, we'll see where I end up with that, but it's gonna be really fun. And I am, I'm, getting a chance to do some other things in addition to my my challenge things. I am kind of focusing on those though. So I'm not doing as many as many bracelets as I was. Um, although I have ideas percolating for bracelets. There's um, I think actually the project that I do on Saturday might be a bracelet. I have to see if my idea works though. So I'm going to play around with that this week and then Saturday we're going to find out if it works or not. Um, also, there's an adoption auction on the Homestrong Jewelry YouTube channel where you could get some gemstones. And that, that'll be pretty fun. That's also on Saturday, but it's earlier in the day. So I'm going to be probably doing that and then also hanging out with um, Danielle. And it's going to be lots and lots of fun. <laughs> and then I will have some more tutorials coming up this week. I don't have anything hard and fast planned. So it's going to be me playing it by air, being like, what do I feel like making with? I'm probably going to be making something with the newest Jesse James Beads Magical Mystery Bead Box. Because although they haven't done their official unboxing yet on their channel, I have unboxed mine. And I don't want to do spoilers. I love the theme. Um, 
the closest I'm gonna get to spoilers is to say it is based on a movie like they do every I, I guess September box it's the one right before like October and Halloween and stuff and so it's it's fantastic and it's such a fantastic theme and it is so well put together I'm, I'm tickled with that Jesse James Speed's Magical Mystery Bead Box um so I'm probably gonna be doing something with them this week um I did have another thing that I wanted to do with the old the other one the the 70s one but I didn't get around to it again because I had some downtime when I was just not feeling like making jewelry um so that's, that's how that goes. And you know, I, it did, it really helped with the, the customer appreciation week to have projects that I didn't have to come up with or that were easy, like just stringing some beads that I could watch the presentation and just do my own thing with. Um, it helped me feel more like myself because um, I was, I was getting a little bit a little bit in the the um and it probably was me not feeling well that led to it not really like being depressed or anything but you know when you have low energy because you know I don't know you have a real quick 72 hour virus or whatever the turnaround was for that it was most of the weekend and Monday that I just was like uh, no um you know you don't feel like being creative you don't feel like doing things sometimes when you're out of energy when you're out of juice and so it was really nice to be able to jump into those and have that to just kind of buoy me up um and I think probably there might have been other people who are very buoyed by that um to have a fun time watching beating talking about joy making learning new things and um that's why when uh it was like Thursday night or something. I was like, you know what? I'm absolutely making earrings because I, I wanted to make earrings. I've been making the beaded chain necklaces for a few weeks and I just wanted to make some earrings, um, which is something that I, just, I love, love making earrings. It is so much fun. But yeah, I will probably have something for Jesse James beads, um, probably something with the Potomac beads box as well. And I'm gonna be also working on um, on the the stuff that I'm gonna be doing with Danielle. So that's that's my plans for this week. So it should be should be pretty good. We're wrapping up September, so we'll be heading right into October. And I don't know if I want to do this to myself, but like part of me is like, why don't I just make a whole bunch of Halloween jewelry for the month of October? And then I'm also like, okay, Becky, but you've got a life that you have to live. <laughs> and you do that because I have an inordinate amount of Halloween jewelry. Like it's, it's embarrassing. No, no, it's not embarrassing. I'm going to wear that with pride. I have an inordinate amount of Halloween jewelry making supplies that like, you know, beads and things, skull beads. I love skull beads. I've got the check skulls. I've got the little glass, like shaped like a skull with little crystals in it that I got from Allegory Gallery. I've got like a bunch of stuff that I could put together and make some really cool jewelry with. Um, so I don't know if I want to do another challenge right after I'm wrapping up one challenge. I kind of like to have um, a little bit of breathing space, like if October and November are more of I'm just making stuff for for the fun of it um, before the pressure of the holiday season comes down on me or something like that. Although it is fun. It is really fun to make Halloween stuff. Like super fun. <laughs> so I'm going to see how I feel about that. I'm not going to make a decision about that yet. We'll see how I'm feeling at the end of September because I am I am rocking out this this uh, this challenge. I made one, two, three, four, five beaded chain necklaces in the last two weeks, and that meets and just a little bit exceeds my goal of two beaded chain necklaces a week for the month of September. So we did that, and I've done some some things that that aren't just your normal beaded chains too. Um, I did some bead wool 
Speaking of woven links, I've done some uh, two hole bead beaded uh, links. And so I think, I think I might, let's see, cause when is, when is the last day in September? Is it Monday? I don't know if it's Monday or Sunday. But I think I want to do one where instead of doing it with the, one of the bead boxes that I have, I um, I go into my stash, like whether it's from one of the bead boxes that I didn't do enough of, or if I just pick out some beads from the stash that I had sorted with y'all. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have at least two more during the week. I'll do something on Saturday with Danielle, which is probably going to be a bracelet. And then Sunday, I will do my final beaded chain necklace, and that one will be from Stash. So that's 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 where we're going to go with it. Okay, I have it planned. Look, I came into this with no plans for next week except for the thing with Danielle, and now I have like my whole week planned. Thank you for helping me with this. Thanks for letting me bounce this off of you so that we can get, it, we can get that worked out. I appreciate you listening to me ramble. Um, it makes me so happy to know that so many of you enjoy spending time with me. Um, even if it's just watching me do some painting or jewelry making or sorting beads or something like that. I appreciate you and I am happy to have you here. And um, thank you for letting me share my love of jewelry with you. <laughs> it's very fun. Anyway, I hope that you have a fantastic week. I hope everything works out right for you. You've always got the cool side of the pillow. Your socks never slip down into your shoe. <laughs> People let you merge into traffic. This is my wish for you for this week. <laughs> and I will talk with you next week. And look forward to my videos. Bye for now. Happy beating.